Okay, so we're working on the plate. I made this, cut myself a hole out in my uh, welding table here. <clears throat> now on these, um, this is a 2003 Harley Davidson Heritage. I put a little red paint on the top here so I know that that's my top um, of the cam so I can put it on back on right there's a pin here I made a notch here so I could set this down now I want to show you guys that this cam is not pressed in it slides into the bearing so when you order your new cam it's only going to come with one bearing for this side here so this is the only side you need to press out if you're just replacing the one bearing which is what I'm doing <clears throat> I've been watching a few YouTube videos and things and uh, put together uh, what I need to do so I'm making my own video so we're gonna heat this up with a torch we're gonna tap this out the whole bearing is gonna fall out and I'm not buying any special tools to do this this here fits right around the gear and right onto the bearing um, so I can just pop the bearing out but then it will still be stuck on my cam so what I might do first is try to hit the cam out I was debating on if I wanted to just hit the cam out first or not. So I'm going to try just. Oh, the cam comes right out. So the cam's almost out. This other cam has already fallen completely out. We're going to finish getting the cam out and then we'll press the bearing out. And I'm not using any special tools, you see. I got the socket to line up almost dead nuts even. And then I'll use this when we heat it up to try to slide it out and then slide the new one in. So. I'm going to get another socket here that will fit. <clears throat> but, Jesus. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see if I can use that. How easy it was to get the cam out. So, here's the cam. <clears throat> There's the chain. We'll reuse the chain. I'm going to go ahead and get that bearing out right now which is kind of funny is actually I could reuse the bearing if I wanted to I don't even have to replace that bearing just put the new cams in and be done Alright, so we're going to go ahead and install our bearing, our new bearing. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out of the freezer. Okay. It's been in for know, an hour or two. I'm just going to go ahead and take it out and want the numbers facing out or the wording which I see go ahead and drop it in set it up here that's all there is to it and go ahead and put this on here just in case Seat it deeper. There we go. As you can see, how easy that went in. It's because I froze it and I just set it down on there. Hit it in, the bearing's turning real nice and beautiful. So, anyway, there we go. It's all in. Turns nice and beautiful. This is the older bearing. So, I've replaced the bearing. Let's see it in there. It's ready to go.